Good morning, everyone. Pastor Dan again with some devotions for us this morning. This is the 32nd day of Lent, and again this week our invitation comes from Psalm 145, verses 17 to 18. In it we read, The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and faithful in all he does. The Lord is near to us, to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Let's listen to our Bible song of the day, Psalm 27, verses 7 to 14. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart, and wait for the Lord. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Our Bible reading for today comes from Isaiah chapter 43, verses 16 to 21. These are the words of Isaiah um, as, as he is recording what God is telling him. This is what the Lord says. He who made a way through the sea, a path through the mighty waters, who drew out the chariots and horses, the army and reinforcements together, and they lay there never to rise again, extinguished, extinguished snuffed out like a wick. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. The wild animals honor me, the jackals and the owls, because I provide water in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland to give drink to my people, my chosen, the people I formed for myself, that they may proclaim my praise. See, says God, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know the details of, of these things, but I do know that God's promises are sure and true. When he says that he will work all things of the good, to the good of those who love him, it's not a joke. It's not something that we just can dismiss. This is the truth. If God can make new things happen for the people of Israel, make streams in the wasteland and, and away in the wilderness, if he can do that for the people of Israel hundreds, thousands of years ago, he can do that for us today as well. Let's pray. Everlasting God, in your boundless love, you are doing a new thing. 
In Jesus, the only mediator, you have redeemed, called, justified, sanctified, and glorified me with all your people. Continue that salvation in me today, through Jesus Christ, my mighty Savior. Amen. Now receive God's blessing today. God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Be blessed today, and look for the new thing that God is doing today. Mm -hmm.